सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सार्थ कॉमर्स वाला सो आई न्यू दैट आई एम कमिंग आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड आई एम राइट नाउ मेकिंग अ वीडियो आई थिंक आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ्स व्हिच वुड बी अ वेरी लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बट I am immensely grateful about the support which you all had shown within the past months even when I was not activated on my channel so I'm very grateful about that even very grateful to god and mostly all the people who connected with me and all my small youtube family they had connected with me from of course one to one and a half year and now they are also connected with me and now the primary priorities for me are almost ended up so I thought that I have to give time to my second priority which is my channel absolutely and you all as well who shown such a tremendous support for me so thank you very much for that i cannot approbate you all how much i can do from bottom of my heart but thank you very much to you all so now a lot of students commented within the comment box that they wanted a video for the most important topics of business statistics and now i am here with the video so let's kick start the video so before deep diving into the most important topics i would just want to one and even tell some ins and outs about the business statistics paper first of all all students need to understand especially of delhi university that business statistics is a kind of exam which is particularly lengthy and secondly if you are thinking that either doing one or two unit you can grab or capture 36 marks or xyz number of marks so it is not true because the accurate fact about the business statistics exam is that within the business statistics the question have different segregations and bifurcations so every question must be containing 3 to 4 parts which means this paper is going to check your knowledge that it doesn't mean that if you are doing one or two concepts from a specific unit then you will be covering all the things or you will be getting all the marks or 18 marks from that specific unit or whatever the distribution of marks is within all these units okay but i want to tell you one thing that question have different parts that is the first information which i wanted to give you all that every question has four subdivisions or three subdivision at least so which means in every question they can give you different concept or different topic and that questions are being made from different concepts so don't think that i can tell you something by which you can pass easily i'm not a magician yes so i need to be very pragmatic that what could be the best possible manner by which i can help you all to pass within a very less span of time within business statistics okay and second what i already told you all that knowledge of concepts will be checked within this exam and along with that your speed as well so i will be deep diving into what you need to do and what i am expecting from you all that you already knowing these concepts okay so let's start so first of all i am going to start with the unit first which is named as descriptive statistics within descriptive statistics first of all you need to understand that mean mode median are not the most important topics okay yes you heard it right these are not the most important topics but it is expected and it is supposed uh from a first year or second year graduation student that they know all these things that how they can determine and how they can find mean mode and median and in all the three types of series discrete individual and continuous so mean mode and median absolutely will give you one question within your exam but don't think that this all unit is about mean mode and median all the students who are thinking like this they are within a very wrong mentality right now because the most important topics are skewness and kurtosis okay movements which comes under movements and movements is also a very very important topic and even in the past year question papers movements was always being there as a concept which is very very important then standard deviation which comes in dispersion or measure of dispersion so standard deviation is very very important range is also very important which is quite easy as well but i think range could be come within any part because they are not going to give you only hard topics or hard concepts they are going to also put a simple question or simple concept as well okay and then coefficient of variance which is also very very important there is one more topic quartile deviation which i didn't write here but i think that is also very very important so please understand that this is an important topic but i am not considering it as a topic which you don't know that how we can find out mean mode and median of course they are lengthy and uh, some students might not be able to recall all these topics because they had studied these topics within their class 11th economics but i think it would not be taking more than 1 to 2 hour to study and to recall all these three topics okay so absolutely one question would be coming from mean mode and median and especially from median and especially the missing frequency question i think so but these concepts are more important skewness kurtosis very very important coefficient of variance very important standard deviation very very important okay so these are the topics which you have to do there is a very bigger surprise for you all at the end of the video so please stay connected till the end of the video now let's jump on to unit 2 probability in probability addition and multiplication theorem 
in theory now this is a very important part in business statistics it is very elusive to find some theoretical questions but i evaluated last 5 year question papers of business statistics and i observed one thing that this question came a lot of times in terms of a theoretical question so this is a very important topic okay so whatever i am telling you as a theory question you have to study them even theoretically okay so addition and multiplication theorem in terms of theory might be important and even came within i think last two year question papers one question on either conditional probability or bayes theorem most probably conditional probability will be coming within your exam and there is almost a 100% chance okay so conditional probability or bayes theorem any one question will be there within your exam bet with me then this topic this topic i think repeated in every past year examination of business statistics which is poisson distribution this is one of the most important topic from the overall probability chapter so don't try to leave this particular topic because if you are not doing this then you might not be doing anything from probability so poisson distribution it repeated in every last year question paper 2024 2023 2022 2021 in every question paper and normal distribution is also very important now let's jump on to unit number 3 simple correlation and regression it is a unit which students might consider difficult because correlation and regression both are not very easy topics and this is a unit in which everything is almost important but i had selected some of the very important topics which came within your past year question papers of business statistics and on the basis of what was coming within your past year question papers i chosen one of the most important topics okay so correlation with carl pearson method and spearsman rank spearsman rank is a lengthier one so it might not come but both are very important regression equation especially in two coefficient that is very important standard errors this is a topic which hadn't come i think from last two year but there might be chances that it will be coming this year properties of both correlation and regression in terms of theory so please note it very cautiously that i am also telling the topics which can come in the form of theory or theory question so please note it then down very cautiously because if theory will come within business statistics that is just a marks gainer question okay so these questions are for gaining the marks other than that you cannot consider them anything these are sitter question so please don't leave any theory if you hadn't studied anything till the date okay because i think you have almost 10 days from right now or from now onwards so this could be a very important video for you all who have their business statistics paper at 11th of december if i'm not wrong now let's jump on to unit number 4 Unit number four is time series analysis. This is a unit which is a very small unit, and hundred percent whatever topics I am telling to you within this unit are absolutely going to appear within your exam. First, components of time series. In terms of theory, it is a question which repeated quite a lot of times within your past year business statistics paper. Okay. Then trend equation, which will come hundred percent from this unit. Additive and multiplicative model, which is a very important theory portion, or you can say theory concept, which will come in terms of theory. And shifting of origin came. in very old question papers of business statistics but i think this might will come if any numerical question come from time series analysis and always remember one thing in business statistics that every question has a choice with its corresponding chapter which means if question number 4 is from unit number 4 then the choice question which you will get or the alternative which you will get that is also from unit number 4 so these are topics are also evaluated on the basis of that you will get both the question from the topics which i am telling you within this video okay so from that perspective i also assay all the topics unit number 5 index number in this only one topic you need to do that is calculate index number from laspers pache and fisher's ideal index method and sometimes in fisher's ideal index they will, they might ask a theory question as well because i saw within your some of the last years question paper that sometimes they had asked a theoretical question on fisher's ideal index okay so this is all for the most important topics of business statistics for semester 3 for all the students of delhi university either they are doing from sol or they are doing from regular and along with that one big surprise which i was mentioning at the beginning of the video is that i am going to bring two videos one some of the most important questions of theory of business statistics which i will upload tomorrow and then if i will be able to because questions are actually gigantic in terms of numbers so i cannot take the surety of the second video but in the second video i'm going to bring all the numerical questions from your last 5 year question papers so be ready for it i'm coming with a bang i know how to come back but you also know how to come back within your studies and in terms of showing support to our channel so please try to share this video as much as you can you all know what i can bring on the table and please try to 
show more support towards the channel by which we will grow ahead and i will also help you like this with the beneficial content which i was providing uh, from the last two years so thank you very much for watching bye bye